Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and it's time to do an update on the toad. He was made with paper cement clay. It was a recipe that I told you all about a year ago and it wasn't mine. I actually borrowed it and made some minor changes to it and it originally came from a guest post on my blog from Warren Eglinton. He's from Australia and I was really embarrassed that I had never tried it. But I finally did last year. It was really fun to use. But a lot of people have been asking me how he did outside. Did he last the winter? Uh, I think it got down to minus 30. He was sitting out in the rain and he is still exactly the same color he was when I put him out there. There has been no cracking, no damage whatsoever. So he's doing just fine. That's been over a year now. So a lot of other people have also experimented with it. Everybody knows it's an experiment. We're going to try it out. <laughs> And a lot of people decided, okay, that'd be kind of fun. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's play. But we recently got a post from Michelle. This is what her lizard looked like when she finished it last year. It looked great. But just a, a month or so ago, she went out and looked at it again. It has these little white spots all over it. And I have no idea why that happened. I have not worked with cement. I'm not a cement expert by any means. Uh, I'm not a person to ask for technical details on any kind of cement product, so I do not know why that happened. But if you do, please go out to her post and let her know, and that way we can all find out. And I don't know for sure, but I have a suspicion it was because of that we use different sealers. And I recently received a, a question from someone on YouTube also of what kind of sealer did I use. And I used Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. This is the only one I've used. So I'm going to say this one from my own experiment and from my own results here with Mr. Toad, this one works. And you do need to seal any concrete sculpture if you're going to leave it outside. We got another question recently. What kind of paint did I use? I just used artist paint. I, nothing fancy. I just used plain old acrylic artist paint and I sealed it with this. That was all I did. Someone also asked me, did I put any of the paper cement clay over his toes? Because in, in the video that I show you uh, how I made this guy, I've got like two or three videos that show how this guy was made. And in the video, I showed that the, the feet were made with, I think it was magic sculpt, some form of epoxy clay. I can't remember which one, <laughs> but it was an epoxy clay for sure. And I didn't put any cement clay over it. The only reason I used it was because when you're trying to put paper mache clay over over wire, yeah, I just can't get it to work. I'm, I'm, I'm just not coordinated enough <laughs> to make that work. So the answer to that question is no, I didn't, I didn't put the cement over those toes. You know, I don't know if the paper cement clay would work well over the those really skinny toes either. I don't know if it would crack when it freezes and thaws. I, I didn't experiment with it but just because I can't put it over over wire. I can't I can't do it. <laughs> so I didn't get to test that. If you want to test it uh, and you do <laughs> let us know how it turns out. The other question that we've gotten a lot of times was how long did I cure it? And when you're working with cement to, and doing any any kind of concrete work, well, sidewalks or anything else, you don't want the concrete to, to get hot in the sun and dry up really fast. You want it to cure slowly because it, it actually takes over a month or more for it to be as strong as it's ever going to get. At least that's what I've been told. I am not an expert, obviously, in concrete. I, I do paper mache stuff. But... I didn't actually cure this fellow any longer. I, I let him dry for like three or four days and then I was in a real hurry so I just went ahead and painted it and sealed it and put it outside. I know you're not supposed to do it that way but I went ahead and did it anyway and, and it, for me it worked but that means I got away with it. Not that you should do it that way. <laughs> it's just that it, it didn't seem to hurt this guy. But remember just the fact that I got away with it doesn't mean that this is the way you should do it. But I'm, I am really happy with the way it worked. And I really wish that I would hurry up and get a landscaper to do something with my front yard <laughs> so that I could have a, a really good reason to make some more sculptures with this um, material because it was so much fun to work with. It was just like butter or something. Um, it was actually felt better spreading it over the armature. This is just a foil armature on this in the inside of this guy and it was actually more fun to use than the original paper mache clay recipe and you know I love that. So and 
I should also mention that there is one of the recipes uh, for the paper cement clay doesn't have any drywall joint compound in it. So if you're having trouble finding a brand of joint compound that will work with paper mache clay, you might want to go ahead and, and switch to this anyway, even if you're going to be using it inside. <laughs> this is uh, slightly off track. But we're, we've also been getting several reports lately that if you are making paper mache clay or anything that includes both drywall joint compound and Elmer's or PVA glue, don't use DAP brand or the Worth brand. That's a brand new um, brand that I hadn't heard of until just a couple of weeks ago. And people are starting to report that it does not work. It's getting really hard to find drywall joint compound that isn't DAP or Worth. It was really hard. What else do I have to say? I think that's actually it. It worked for me. I did a lot of things that maybe you don't want to do and got away with it, but that's okay. I'm happy with it anyway. Be sure to seal it. And this is the only thing that I personally have used. I can't recommend any other sealer because I can't afford to go to the store and buy every single brand that's out there. So if you want to experiment with some other sealer, go ahead and then let us know. Uh, come back to the Daily Sculptors page on my website and post your sculptures. Let us know what you used in your sculpture and how you sealed it. Have you left it outside for you know, more than a month or two out in the weather and has it held up or not? Please let us know. And in the meantime, go make something <laughs> and come back and visit us. UltimatePaperMache.com. I'll see you there.